Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm coming at you to talk about sexuality and gender identity in the trans community, you know. So I would like to take the opportunity to clear up a few misconceptions and try and make a few things clearer. And before I continue, though, I would like to first say that I do not speak for every single trans person in the community, but as someone from the T, I would like to provide you with a general means to understanding how transitioning has little to do with one's sexual orientation. So... I will answer questions like, what does the T and LGBTQ stand for? Is it a sexuality, a gender identity, or something else? After someone transitions from male to female, or vice versa, are they then gay or straight? You know, and this is in addition to other questions I will also try and answer. So if by the end of this video you still have questions you would like answered, then by all means send me a message and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Hopefully, by the end of this video you will be able to, you know, take something from it and have those questions answered and possibly even um, answer questions you never even thought to ask. So before I continue, I think we should first define the use of the terms trans man and trans woman so when I speak you'll know who I'm referring to. A trans woman, aka male to female and MTL for short, is someone assigned male at birth but now identifies as female. A trans man or female to male or FTM for short is someone assigned female at birth but now identifies as male. Now, this could be true for those born with intersex conditions and later in life transition to a more suitable identity or presentation as well. So, in my case, I was assigned female at birth but now I identify as male. Well, I always did, but no one knew and I was pretty much forced into the female role, but that's a whole nother story. I would also like to further clarify the terms transgender or transsexual or even trans. Um, while they may be used as an identity for transsexual people, maybe even a medical condition or something else, it really all depends on the individual. So, might I add, don't believe for one second that all trans people see themselves in the same way because it's not true. Just like not all black people view themselves the same way, not all gay people see themselves the same way, all trans people don't see themselves the same way. But despite however a person may use the term transgender or transsexual in regards to their gender, it is never a sexual orientation. I know for many that the T being an LGBTQ acronym, it leads a lot of people to assume that the transgender umbrella represents yet another sexual orientation or a grouping of it, but it does not. The terms transsexual or transgender simply denotes that in a person's history, they were once assigned or identified as something different from what you may see today or in the future even. So this can manifest in many different ways and depends entirely on the individual because the, the fact that transgender or trans are umbrella terms that encompasses uh, drag queens and kings, uh, cross-dressers, uh, transsexuals, and so on. There's a lot of uh, identities being put into one term. So don't think that because someone said they're transgender that you automatically know how this person truly identifies himself. That is only a part of the story. With that being said, in no way does being identified as transgender conclude anyone's sexuality. Trans people can be gay, straight, bisexual, and so on. So there are truly no limits and restrictions to what humans can do with one another. And it's certainly not defined by their labels. There's so much people can do and that's not bound by the, the terms we have to describe them. But I digress. Um, so speaking of labels, let's talk about that with sexuality as well. So a lot of people ask, how can a straight woman then become a gay man? When someone makes these changes and have the shift in identity and labels and how people perceive them, the words used to identify them also change. So for example, a man before his transition to male who was attracted to men is considered a straight woman. After his transition to male, his attraction to men is now considered gay, or he identifies himself as gay as opposed to a straight woman. Before a trans woman transitions to female, if she is at that time attracted to men, she is considered a gay man. If after her transition she is still only attracted to men, then she is now considered straight. Nothing about either of these people's attractions changed, but the terms identifying them did. So let me put it this way, in a quote I heard, and then I apologize because I cannot recall who said it, uh, gender identity is who I want to go to sleep as, sexuality is who I want to go to sleep with. So before I reach the conclusion of this video, I would like to add that diverse sexuality is not at all limited to the trans community. The T community is as diverse as any other in that there are feminine people, uh, masculine people, in between, versatile, bottoms, tops, free spirits, asexuals, heterosexuals, homosexuals, and so on. You know, there are like an, a, 
unlimited amount of possibilities as to what you may find when you actually get to know people. With all that being said, I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions. If not, like I said, you can still message me and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so, yeah, I would like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.